Octoprint is basically like a little web interface thing that um, can run on a Raspberry Pi that gives you a lot of things where you can control and monitor a 3D printer remotely. The way my house is set up, I have my office, and that is the room I'm in right now. This is the room I stream from. This is where I work from home. This is where I play video games. I spend most of my time in this room. And this is on the main floor of my house. Then I have my basement. And down here in the basement, I have a workbench. And on that workbench is where I have my 3D printer set up. I am up here in my office. I download the file that I want to print. I go out here, go down the steps, come down here and go over to my 3D printer and I get the little SD card out of my 3D printer. And then I go back upstairs, come through here, go back to my office. I plug the SD card into my PC. I copy the file of the thing I want to print onto that SD card. And then I go back downstairs and I plug in the SD card and print it. And then I usually will come back upstairs because like the prints will typically take like a few hours and I'll like play video games or whatever you do. Every half hour, hour or something like that, I'll run back downstairs, go check the print, make sure nothing has failed, check like how far along the print is, see if it's ready to be finished, all that stuff. And then I'll go back upstairs and I'll just repeat that over and over again. That's a lot. You can upload what you want to print remotely um, through the web browser and start and stop prints and stuff like that. So I don't have to put my print on a SD card up here in my office and go downstairs and go down to my basement and plug it into the 3D printer and go up and down, up and down to check it every hour or whatever. So that seems pretty awesome. So that's what I wanna do. Also, like my main driver of doing this is I want to be able to do time-lapse videos of prints because I just think those are cool. From what I've read, Octoprint has like a built-in like plug-in to do time-lapse. So that's what I want to do. Um, Raspberry Pi has made s some massive improvements to their whole like Raspberry Pi imager stuff about like setting up Raspberry Pi. They have made it way more user-friendly and a lot more options and different things you can do during the setup that makes a lot of the process of getting up and running much easier. I have my SD card right here. Whenever you're setting up a Raspberry Pi, you typically will install the operating system of whatever you're doing on a micro SD card. I have my um, little SD card reader that I I'm going to plug my SD card into, and I'm gonna plug the, the reader into my PC. There is my SD card I just plugged in. So that's good to go. And now I need to choose the OS. If I was just setting up a Raspberry Pi for just general purpose uses, I would just pick the Raspberry Pi OS and get up and running with that. But this is going to be for a specific purpose. And this is one of those things that I was talking about where Raspberry Pi has made huge strides in making this more user-friendly than it used to be. They actually have built into the imager all of these different operating systems for specific uses that you can do. Like if you want to set up like a retro gaming emulator machine, you can just from right here select retro pi and install that on your raspberry pi and get to work setting up some retro games and stuff to play on your raspberry pi but the one i'm using is going to be under other specific purpose os 3d printing and octopi a raspberry pi distribution for 3d printers ships octoprint out of the box and um, here's another um, thing that that raspberry pi has done in fairly recent like i want to say within the last like six months they've added these features there's this cog wheel down here in the corner where you can like set up a bunch of little options and things for your raspberry pi 
that will be baked in during the imaging process. So you can set the host name that it will automatically set during the imaging process. Okay, so it says do not change the username. So that's a necessary thing it tells you to keep. And then it, it just says, I think it doesn't matter what host name it gives it, um, but they put it as octopi.local. So I might as well do the same, it's fine. I will enable SSH, sure, why not? And you can even um, configure the uh, wireless network that it will automatically connect to once it turns on. And you can do all of that within the imaging process. You used to be able to kind of do that, but you would have to, after you image the SD card, you would then have to go into the SD card and like change a config file and do all that kind of stuff to get it to do that. But here they just have the options available for you in the setup process of the imager. All right, now I click write. All existing data on your USB device will be erased. Are you showing to continue? Yes, I do. And now it's going to write to that SD card and it'll take a few minutes. Octopi has been written. You can now remove the SD card from the reader. Hell yeah. So that worked. All right, so I have Got my SD card written. So now I want to plug the SD card into my Raspberry Pi. That should be good. Yep. And now I'm going to plug in the Raspberry Pi and we'll see what happens. Maybe it won't break and blow up in my face. That would be ideal if it did not do that. So I'm gonna give that a couple minutes just to go through like the setup processes and make sure everything is working and give it time to connect to my Wi-Fi network and all that. So I just went to octopi.local so that um, sends you to like a little setup wizard. Um, thank you for installing Octoprint. This wizard will guide you through the final steps to get your Octoprint instance all set up and ready to go. We'll get you printing in no time. Um, restore from Backup, no, I do not have a backup. Mandatory step. It looks like you haven't configured access control yet, which is now mandatory. Please set up a username and password for the initial administrator account who will have full access to both the printer and Octoprint settings. Okay, so I need to create an account. If the connectivity check is enabled, Octoprint will regularly check if it's connected to the internet. This is useful to prevent resource intensive operations. I don't think I need that. Yeah, I'll, I'll skip that for now. Anonymous usage tracking provides valuable insight into how many instances. I do not want to provide usage tracking. I, enough shit is being tracked about me on the internet already. I don't want to add to it. Configure plugin blacklist processing. To protect against known severe issues with certain versions of third-party plugins, Octoprint supports the use of a centralized plugin version blacklist to automatically disable such plugin versions before they can interfere with normal operations, allowing you to uninstall or update them to a newer version. Yeah, sure, why not? Please make sure the settings below match your printer. I don't think I want to set up my printer yet because I don't, I'm not down at my printer. I want to, I think I want to like plug in my printer to it when I do this. Okay, I think I'm good to go. All right, so the Octoprint server is up and running, which is awesome. I want to set up a webcam. That's what I want. Raspberry Pi camera, verify that it's properly attached. The ribbon cable can be plugged in the wrong way. Power off your Pi first. Do not attach or detach threads for Pi camera while the Pi is powered. Okay, so yeah, shut down system. That's what I'm going to do. Proceed. Now I'm going to unplug the Pi and now I'm going to try to plug in and install the webcam and hope that it works. The Raspberry Pi has this right here, this little interface um, for a camera using this little ribbon input. Do I need to take apart the case to do this? I might need to take apart the case. So now I'm going to lift this little 
whatever you call that, like plug thing. And I'm going to put the ribbon into that little slot and make sure the like metal contacts of the ribbon are on the side that is facing where the metal contacts are on the white side. So just make sure that it is like flat and not like crooked or at an angle. That should be good. And then I push the little black plug thing down. Okay, now it is plugged in. Now we can turn the Raspberry Pi back on and hopefully the webcam will be working. Plug in the power. Awesome. Okay, the camera actually works. That's good to know. I'm gonna try to put this case back together. Just wanna be careful I don't like crease that ribbon and like break it. Okay, so I have this little um, tripod that I want, like, if my 3D printer is, like, right here and it's, like, doing the whole, like, print thing, I want to sit, like, the tripod here, kind of, like, at the front corner of it with the camera looking at the, like, print bed. That's my idea. I think that kind of works pretty well. Like, uh, you can't really see it from the overhead from that angle too well, but... You can see the little like feed of it right there. That I I I like that. I like that a lot. That and hopefully that this little tripod will be tall enough to get like a good angle on the printer bed. Um cuz I want to say the the like bed of the 3D printer is somewhere around like right here where my hand is. So if like if I put it like right at the front edge of where the print bed is and like the printer head is like over here towards the middle, then hopefully that will be a pretty good angle. In worst case scenario, I can just get like, I don't know, a, a box or something to put underneath the tripod just to elevate it a little bit. All right, I'm going to take this down to my basement and plug it in down there. And then I'm going to come back and see if I can like go through the configuration stuff for my printer up here a few minutes later I think it should be back up now I just replugged it and if I go to here hey there's the little webcam stream of my printer there we go serial port I don't know what the baud rate is connect detecting serial connection operational e critical warning firmware unsafe that's not good <laughs> this is a fire risk oh no <laughs> that sounds awful <laughs> i'm going to ignore this big scary red critical warning <laughs> for now if i do this ooh Awesome! It is working! It can move the... the awesome! I'm so happy with this. I did not expect this to work this well. I'm going to... Open Ultimaker. This is something I already printed, but it's a pretty small print, so I think it's a good test for this.
something like that. That looks pretty good, right? Doesn't doesn't have to be perfect. Um, and it's generic PLA is fine. The default setting is fine. And slice. Okay, go back here. Upload locally. Okay, now can I just print this? Moment of truth. Start the print job. There we go. It doesn't really matter how good this print turns out, though. This is just like a proof of concept to show I can start a print from Octoprint. It's like I'm up here in my office and I just uploaded a print file from my PC and my printer is down here in my basement printing it and I'm like monitoring it from up here. That's so cool. I'm so happy about this. And I'm taking a time lapse. I won't know exactly how the time lapse turns out until an hour from now when it finishes. But it's very cool. I'm so happy. I do need to update my firmware apparently on my printer because I have a fire risk. <laughs> <laughs>